Recent nationwide study found symptoms of depression and anxiety can actually get worse for your kids each day that wildfire smoke lingers in the air out here. Darby Sparks joining us live right now. And uh, Darby, how do researchers believe that this actually happens? They say it's by a tiny little particle in the air called PM2.5. As it flows through the air, it could potentially get into your bloodstream, flow up through there and get into your brain and affect the functioning. And unfortunately, kids in Utah are particularly vulnerable. On Wednesday, the Wasatch Front landed number two in the world for worse air quality due to wildfire smoke. Places like Utah have dealt with more days of poor air quality in recent years due to more wildfire smoke exposure, leaving kids here more vulnerable. The children are more likely to have these sort of extreme events and, and get really high levels of exposure. Harry Smolker, a research scientist with the University of Colorado Boulder, helped conduct the study to determine how children are impacted mentally by pollution. And he says the more it's breathed in, the higher chance it will impact your child long term. I think it, it really kind of underscores the importance of really understanding how environmental exposures may be contributing to this rapid increase in, in mental illness, uh, particularly in youth. He says the increased wildfires could be a link to the increased mental illness episodes youth have reported over the last two decades. One of the best options when you have these really high levels of air pollution is to, to not go outside. And if you have to go outside to wear a protective mask like N95 masks. Showing scientists the need for more mitigation efforts against pollution. One of the things that we did was in 2022, the Utah State Board of Education issued that model health and wellness policy, which provides guidance and resources. Ryan Bartlett with the Utah Board of Education says individual districts decide their own systems when it comes to handling air pollution. One of the biggest things we may be needing in the future, according to Smoker, is air filtration in schools. Air purification systems in the schools, uh, as well as an office building. And the Utah Board of Education says that they're giving out air quality measures to high schools that are interested to gather that data and provide it to schools nearby. In Salt Lake City, I'm Darby Sparks, KSL 5 News. All right, Darby, thank you very much. Pretty fascinating information. And Dini, as we head back inside to you, when you think of Darby's story right there, we as Utahns love the outdoors, right? It's hard for any reason to go inside. We like to hike, we like to bike, we like to do uh, play sports when we're out here. So when you get the smoke and they're saying, hey, listen, just stay inside for mental health reasons, for physical reasons, we should probably listen to that. But it is so darn hard to do so because we love our outdoors, don't we? Yeah, it's a real it's a real conflict. Uh, you want to be healthy and you're right. You love the outdoors, but when you can see it, taste it, feel it, it you know it's it's real.